Hal, is that the official stuff there? You got that at Dick's Sporting Good, right? Well, <laughs> this is. Right after the Rams won the title, uh, I bought this thing. It was 35 bucks. Uh, it, it's got the official NFL label inside. It's well stitched. It's well made. But federal authorities telling us there's a lot of fake stuff out there right now. This is a really cheap knockoff of a Rams jersey. Special agent in charge Lamar Jackson says it looks like a real Rams jersey, but it isn't made like one. When you turn it inside out and you see the poor worksmanship here, paper hanging off, it's obviously this is a counterfeit, but you can't see this when you're looking online. You find that out when, you, when it gets to your house. This is exactly the kind of thing officers with U.S. Customs and Border Protection are trying to stop and find who's responsible. But even veteran officers are shocked when they pop open a box here and there. The most unusual thing is the Vince Lombardi trophy that came into us. They basically declared it as a metal ornament. Officers say smuggling through LAX is on the rise. That's bad news because fake goods have caused real problems. Most are made overseas and shipped here, just like fake Super Bowl goods. In preparation for Super Bowl 56, we've deployed a number of specialized teams to run special operations at our seaport and here at LAX. So far, they've found things they couldn't let into the country, fake Super Bowl rings and other things. A lot of these are uh, uh, products of uh, organized uh, crime, trying to make a profit and um, build up their their uh, enterprise. But if the fake products look so real, how do they catch the bad ones? We have multiple layers uh, to basically designate a, a particular shipment for exam. Uh, a lot of it falls on officer experience. Some people would be glad to buy fake, knowing the jerseys and other products that are, are much cheaper. Agents say you shouldn't though because this helps. Funding gang activity, they're funding terrorism, and also they're causing a loss of revenue to the U.S. companies. So those federal authorities that we talked to have said the best thing you can do is one of those buyer beware things. Know who you're buying from, whether it's online or in a store. Make sure the thing is well made. As one of them pointed out, you might order online, and then when you get it, you find out it's a fake. Be careful is what they say. Alex, Christine, back to you. Well, when you think of that thought of organized crime, it does make a difference. Yeah. All right, Helm, thank you.